What we're doing is we're taking the integral of this equation right here. So what we want to do first is decide if we want to use u substitution. Since we're taking x to the third multiplied by 5x to the fourth plus 1, all of that to the seventh, I would use uh, substitution myself. So we need to decide where u is going to fit in best. Since x to the third happens to be the derivative of x to the fourth, it might be wisest to use x, 5x to the fourth plus 1 as our u substitution. So u equals 5x to the fourth plus 1. And our du of u, the derivative, is just going to equal, we multiply this 4 out, so that's going to be 20x to the third chain rule. This 1 becomes a 0 because it's a constant. So x to the third du of x to the third dx divide that by 20. So come back over here and we plug in for u and that's going to be u to the seventh du and that looks a lot cleaner than this whole mess right here. So we can pull this 1 20th out to the front so that's going to be 1 20th and the integral sign of u to the seventh du and now we can safely uh, take the derivative of this whole mess right here. So that will be 1 20th of 1 8th u to the 8th. The du is dropped and that's going to take us right here. So we have 1 20th and 1 8th. Multiply those together we get 1 over 160 u to the 8th. Now what we need to do is finish off by resubstituting this u back in for that 5x to the 4th plus 1. So we're going to get 1 160th of 5x to the 4th plus 1. All that to the 8th. And that right there is our answer. Okay. Also, you don't want to forget to add the C on here, so go ahead and add a C for the constant that could have been. Out again. Okay, so here's the equation. It's just chilling. Pretty sweet equation, you might say. Wrong. Wrong.